Hi, I'm Keith with My Powerful Home. I want to talk to you today about batteries. And the main reason why is because we use batteries with renewable energy systems and we need to store electricity. Now, there are a lot of renewable energy generators out there like wind generators, solar panels, we have micro hydro generators, and even a, a fuel DC generator that's used to help power your home. And the way we use batteries is sometimes we have to hook them in series or parallel to, up, to match the voltage of your generator. For example, if I have four 12 volt batteries like you see here, these are deep cycle batteries, and I hook them in series, then I take four times 12 and I get 48 volts. And I hook them in series by going from positive to negative, from negative to positive, and so forth till I get to the battery that goes to the charge controller and then I go from my last positive and negative lead and that gives me 48 volts. If I have a 24 volt system and I use a lot of batteries then I have to hook it in uh, series or series parallel. I'm not going to get into a lot of that right now and give you those details but just simply to say that we have to combine batteries to have enough storage from our DC generators in order to power our homes and store that electricity. And a lot of systems uh, use deep cycle lead acid batteries. That's the most common batteries out there. And a deep cycle battery is a battery generally that will cycle down about 80% or down to about 20% of its capacity. And then it will recharge all the way back up again and then as it uses its electricity or sends the DC current to the appliances or devices that you're using, that you're powering with it, then it will deplete down to that 20% and then when you charge it back up to 100%, that's a full cycle. And many batteries just have a certain amount of cycles in their lifetime and they're no good. And so it's very important that you try and keep that cycle as low as possible of course without spending too much uh, money on batteries. Uh, it, dependent upon how many amp hours you need is going to determine the amp hour capacity of your batteries. For example, if I need to utilize 10 amps for 15 hours, I would need 150 amp hours. And so batteries are sized according to amp hour capacity that you need and the voltage. Now I want to give you a very important point. Don't just go out and grab a bunch of batteries and throw them together and think that they're going to work properly. Because if batteries are dissimilar and they're of different types, different amp hour capacities, and you try to put them together, it's really going to wreak, wreak havoc and your batteries aren't going to last very long. And the other uh, important point is the age of a battery. You may have similar batteries, but if some are depleted or their cycle life is shortened because they've been used for a long time and then you throw a couple of new batteries in there, it's going to degrade the whole battery bank. So try and replace all your batteries when it, their life cycle is over and depleted. And it's very important that you do that or it's going to affect your new batteries. You want to make sure that you get all the cycles you can out of your batteries. And if you're trying to use car batteries, they're only made to deplete down about 20%. They don't go down 80%. So they're short cycles and they sometimes have high amp hours and they discharge their energy really quick, use it for a short time, and then they recharge. It's very important to always keep your batteries at a full charge. And a quality charge controller is important. There are different cells in these batteries and there are uh, chargers that do an equalization charge and that helps to balance your battery so that all the cells have the same amount of capacity and they don't work against one another. And so just pay attention. If you'd like to learn more about batteries, you can go to our book on this site. It's called My Powerful Home. There we talk about wind generators, uh, photovoltaic solar panels, micro hydro generators, ground source heating and cooling, and many other renewable energy technolo technologies along with uh, DC current, DC batteries. So we hope this helps you and we hope you have a nice day. Thanks.